everyone it's Elaine and welcome back to my channel um, if you have followed me for a little while you will know that I have made this lace using I guess it's a caulk I'm trying to see if it exactly yeah fast dry acrylic latex caulk plus silicone and it does come out white um, and how I've done it is in these silicone molds and you can find these everywhere they're mostly for fondant I believe um, they're pretty pliable now I will say when I store these big ones especially I do my best to keep them flat I don't want to take the chance of it being curled and then I'd go to lay it down and it stays curled that will defeat my purpose <laughs> Um, but these have kind of been laying on my desk for a little while and um, I've decided I need to do something with them and this is just a little one um, I've taken one piece off of this one and no I don't keep them in the molds I was just I just kind of stuffed this one back in just to show you but if you just one tip that I would suggest to you is to take a wet cloth um, and go over the top of your mold because let's see if I can find one here uh, I've always promised you the good the bad and the ugly um, I guess probably this one you can see this is how it was put in you can see some of the places here still has the little teeny pieces of caulk that I will need to sit and pick out but if you've done it good you don't have that problem all of your openings are clear so again i'd say a wet cloth maybe some kind of scraping tool thing old gift card or room key something like that to kind of smooth it out and then take your wet cloth and go over the top of it these were the first ones that i ever did um but anyhow, that's not why I'm, I'm talking to you about this. I want to show you something else that I came up with. Um, any of you also that know me know that I enjoy coffee staining or tea staining paper also in lacy patterns. And, and I'm not going to take your time and show you all of these or anything because there's tons. And I've done videos on these as well. And yes, I do sell these. Um, so if you're ever interested, reach out to me. They are not on my Etsy shop. Um, I would rather do it by the number of pieces you want rather than the number of pieces, you know, for me to put on Etsy to make it worth my while. Um, but anyhow, I have used, and you can see, they are this size flower. And they are this color because I laid them on paper and coffee stained now I have to say I like this now I don't know that I necessarily like the way I laid them out but it's given me ideas so I'm going to go back now and do some of the longer pieces that I have of lace and see if I can do maybe a more delicate um, kind of lace along the edges um, and if it doesn't work out I could always coffee stain these because now I know for the most part they will hold the coffee it might take me a couple of applications but I know now that it will work so anyhow I just wanted to show you another way maybe to stain your paper um, like I said I did these years ago I know it was years ago um, and like I said they just been kind of laying around and I know I need to do something with them get them out of my way because I, to me they are fragile even though that is pretty pliable I know I can tear it because like this one I tore it coming out of the mold um, but anyhow I'm rambling so I do appreciate you coming by um, I do try to put up a video once a week usually on Tuesdays um, life has kind of been getting a little busy here lately so I, I have missed a couple but you can find me on Facebook. I have a group. I have a page. My own Facebook, um, Instagram, Twitter. I um, 
haven't been on Pinterest so much, but I need to get back to that. And then I do have a small Etsy shop where I sell some auction tags, some um, art journal books. I sell um, some blueprints. They've been doing pretty good lately, even though shipping is a little expensive on them. Uh, I've been selling you know, some of them. Um, but anyhow, that's it for me, and I will catch you going down the road in the next video. I appreciate you. Bye.